Welcome back guys, my name is Daryl and today I'm gonna show you all how to create a crowdfunding website. So if you guys want to create a crowdfunding purpose for something like businesses or donations or let's say for example you're developing something and you need a little bit of money, you know we all need money sometimes, I'm gonna show you how you can have people come to your website and donate for your cause. Now you can also set a specific goal you can set a specific amount, you can set tiers. There is a lot of customization you can have as far as donations. And the great part about it is that this is a free plugin, so it's not gonna cost you anything. So for example, right here I have, you know, help me create a cupcake business, and you can show people how much have actually donated, you can set a goal, and then you can set a specific amount, you can set a custom amount, or you can even have tiers. So for example, I'm just gonna say, all right, I wanna donate a dollar right here, you know? And right here, I set it specifically for a dollar. Now you can have the option to people to enter any amount. And again, you can have tiers, but right here, I'm gonna go to donate. Oh, I have to agree to the terms and then go to donate. And your customers will be brought to a page that looks something like this right here where you get a donation confirmation and you will actually see statistics on how much money you are receiving and all sorts of analytics that will help you, you know, further your crowdfunding campaign. Now this is very similar to GoFundMe guys. So remember, if you guys don't think that people out there donate money, you know, GoFundMe.com alone receives around $4 billion a year just in donations to help people with projects, to help people with competitions. You can see this kid, uh, he wants to go to Pokemon Go or something like that. Or there's all sorts of different reasons why people need a little bit of help. And a lot of people recognize that, you know, and I, and I think websites like GoFundMe is truly amazing. I myself have donated a lot to a lot of causes on this. So, you know, they also have like wishes and competitions and stuff like that where you have like talented people where they want to go to competitions, but they just can't afford it. So they ask people to, you know, hey, can you help me out here? And, you know, and you can help that person, you know, reach whatever goal. And then you right here, you have wishes where people can, you know, do what they want, like uh, pay off speeding tickets. Look at that, you know, someone donated $2,400 for this guy for a $500 speeding ticket, but I'm sure he has a good story, <laughs> you know, that's probably why he's done so much. And also this guy right here, you know, someone helped him get a car, that is a lot of money. Wow, you know, I kinda wanna do this again, but anyways, let's go back to this. So I'm gonna show you today how you can have a crowdfunding plugin and for your website, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the plugin. Now the plugin is called Give, all right? Now you guys can download it and link in the description. Uh, it's a free plugin. You guys can also get it on WordPress.org. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the back end right here. So right here, I'm gonna go to plugins and go to add new. And it's a very highly rated plugin, guys. So it has a lot of active installs. It has tons of positive reviews, and it also has a lot of add-ons if you want to really get customizable with it. So right here, this is the plugin. It's called Give Donation Plugin and Fundraising Platform. You guys can see it has 30,000 active installs and very you know good rated. All right, so once you do that, you install it, you're gonna get a little thing on the left side right here that says donations, all right? And go to all forms. Now you guys will have nothing here. You'll have no forms, so I'll start from scratch and show you guys how to do this. It's very simple actually, it's, it's almost foolproof. So right here, you're just gonna get a donation form. So let's say for example, uh, my dog is sick, you know? So I'm gonna say, hey, you know guys, I need some money. You know, I'm broke and I need some money. So this is for Patty Wax Fever. Now we also have a set donation amount or you have a multi-level donation. So right now we have set donation and they can only donate a dollar. So if you wanna have them enter any amount, you can go to enable right here and then they can go ahead and enter a specific uh, custom amount or you can have a multi-level donation. So right here we have the basic tiers. So for example, right here, I'm gonna go to my first level and say uh, $10 is like the beginner, you know? Beginner, however you spell that. Yeah, I'm, I'm bad with spelling. And I'll add that. Or you can add something like uh, 20, which is like a you know, starter or something like that. And like, let's say, for example, you wanna leave this as default. So you wanna leave the one that cost uh, more money as default, so you can do that. And then you can add another level right there, okay? But uh, you know, you get the idea, so I'm just gonna have two right here. And for the form display, you can have different type of form display. So you can have it like a display options, modal reveal, a button. They actually show you previews of what it looks like um, when you go to like like a footing labels. If you click on the little link right there, they kind of give you an example of what it looks like. So it's just preference really. Uh, you can leave all these basically standard, you know, and it would still look, it would look good, you know, it'd look great. Now registration, so let's say for example, 
you want to have people register before they donate or you just want to have like guest donations or none, you can do that where people don't have to make an account, they don't have to register, they can simply just donate to your website for a cause. I would do that because if you create like a registration, it could create a bounce rate. However, you know, seeing GoFundMe and their success, maybe registration is good because they can always come back and donate more money. Now over here you have donation goal. So for example, I had $20,000 is my first donation over here or uh, you know, back over there, let's see if it shows you yeah, right here. You can actually have that on your, um, on your you know, crowdfunding goal if you want, or you can just have it disabled. You, know, you can also have a percent, so like 50% funded instead of like, or you can have a dollar amount. You can put a progress bar or anything else. So right here, I'll do, let's see, like a, we'll do 5,000 know? bucks, and then we'll just do an amount. We can select the color. So maybe you want to like, you know, match the color scheme of your website. And then right here, you can put like a form where you can like, you know, um, you know, close the donation forms and stop accepting once it has been met. You can do that too. Or you can just disable that and let people keep donating. I would do that because looking at the success on GoFundMe, like this guy right here, 350 grand for something, for 25 grand for a car. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good. You know, it's, that's amazing right there. So uh, going back over here, we can go to form content. So right here, you'd probably wanna put, you know, the reason why, like, what are you trying to do? So right here, patty wax fever. So I'm gonna say, my dog is sick. I need money for medicine. And then terms and conditions, you can always create your terms and conditions. You can customize it. Um, if you don't want it, you can disable it. And then right here, offline donations where people can, you know, do offline uh, donations such as like check or whatever. So right here, that like uh, make a check payable too. And um, you know, I'm not gonna do that. I, I want the credit card, I want, I want it fast. You know, I want the money fast. So I think I'm all ready to go and I'm gonna go to publish. And it's a short code, guys. So you can put this anywhere on your website. You can put it on a new page. You can put it on your you know, current page. You can put it whatever you would like. Okay, so I made the form. Now I'm gonna take this short code right here and simply go ahead and go to like a plus new page or you can even do a post. You know, you can add it to a post and a page. And then right here, you can add like donate form or whatever you want to put. You know, you don't have to put a title for it. You can put anything uh, right here. You can also do like the give short codes where they have like different options for the plugin where you want to have like a login or register or profile editor or donation history or whatever you'd want. But right here, I'm just going to go ahead and paste it right there and go to preview. Now you can also put an image. So right here we have patty wax fever and then we have like the 5,000 of so-and-so, you know, raised. Right here, you put my dog is sick, I need medicine for, you know, <laughs> money. And then right here, we have like the beginner, we have the starter, and then we also have the give custom amount where you can put anything. But let's say, for example, you want to kind of like put, you know, put, uh, you know, an image there. You might want to add an image there. So I don't have one on my dog here. I don't think I do. So I'm just going to go ahead and put, uh, we'll, we'll put this, yeah, I'll put this girl. Yeah, okay. So I'll put this and then, you know, just, just giving you an option, you know, an idea of, of you might want an image above it. So right here we have donate form and then we like patty wax fever. You know, it's 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 kind of a bad image, but uh, you know, you get the points. You might want to resize it to look something a little bit smaller. And remember, you can put this anywhere. So it doesn't have to be like a specific page. You can go to any part of your website and add it. So let's just do one more. I'm just gonna go ahead and add it. Um, I'll add it right around here somewhere, you know, it will get a little bit customizable. So maybe you want to add it, you know, I don't know, like right below your website or something, you know, let's do this right here. Regular. For those of you who don't know, I'm using the Divi theme. It's an amazing theme. Very, very simple to use, very easy. Text, text, and then paste it. And then you get something like that too, you know, it's just gonna show up right there. So patty wax fever, et cetera. And then you can always add image. You can always customize it. You know, you can do whatever you want. And once you're done with that, you can just go ahead and go to donate now. And remember this is in test mode. If you want to take that off, you're going to go to the options and I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, so here is the donations and we have settings. Now they also have tons of add-ons guys. So by default, it gives you the option to have PayPal for the payment gateways. But if you want to have like Stripe or if you want to have tons of other add-ons, they have it available. So right here under add-ons, they have like recurring donations. Um, you can get more customizable with it, feed recovery. They have all sorts of really cool extensions. Now these will actually cost you, but the plugin itself and the features that I've shown you are free. So right here, I'm gonna go to settings. And you know, guys, these are just basic like options, like, you know, uh, donation confirmation, display options, 
um, emails, like once they, you know, donate or something, you know, it'll let you know, like someone, hey, you know, someone donated to your cause or something like that. Um, you can do reports. So this is basically saying like, you know, how many people have donated for your cause and, you know, donors, donations, like donors are people who have donated. And this is like another example of like, you know, test results and stuff like that saying, you know, hey, you know, this is how well it's going. This is, you know, all the details, you know, I don't have to really go too far into it, but the plugin is amazing. So I, I recommend it. You know, it has a lot of customizable features and you can have a website that looks just like GoFundMe, you know, and remember people really do want to help people in need, you know, so don't think that, you know, oh, my cause might not be good enough, you know, just, just try it out. You know, a lot of people out there truly like to help, you know, businesses and all that stuff, you know, even on this website, GoFundMe, they even have specific, you know, uh, niches. So for animals, you know, medicine, education, all sorts of really cool stuff. Okay, guys. So um, thanks for watching this video. You know, go ahead and check out the Give plugin. It's really helpful. You know, I think it's an amazing plugin. It has really good, really good reviews. You guys can see 215 reviews, only seven negative, but those are probably crazy people. You know, there's always crazy people everywhere. So, and a lot of active installs, all right? So go ahead and check it out. Uh, make sure to like this video. Make sure to share it. All right, I'll see you guys later.